We are giving you a live look right now inside the Baker Street Pub. This is in Denver where people are beginning to gather right now to remember and honor the 12 people killed in the Aurora Theater shooting. As you know, today marks five years since the tragedy and survivors, family members of victims and first responders, they're getting together tonight to celebrate the lives of those lost. And many people made their way to Aurora last night. There was a vigil held at the exact time of the shooting. And Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen was there, talked to the heroes who saved lives and the survivors whose lives were forever changed. Five years. We're a very resilient community. At this vigil. Five years I've been missing you. They say sometimes it feels like yesterday. You can never erase the carnage out of your mind. Sometimes it feels like forever. I try to hide and I try to put on my secondary face through all my family and friends to, so I don't make people worry about me. And uh, some days it works and most days it doesn't. That day the bullets almost blew off Joshua Nolan's leg and his arm. Um, doing a memorial tattoo on my arm and it gets somebody, other people to look at other than my injury on my arm. This is still what I signed day one. Jansen Young's boyfriend, Jonathan Blunk, used his body to shield hers. Love him and I miss him more than I ever thought my heart was capable of. No matter how much time passes, they won't forget the heroes. First responders who saved so many and deserve so much. I was on scene in the theater within two minutes. Lieutenant Jad Lanigan with Aurora Police says he comes to this vigil every year to honor those they couldn't save, still haunted by that loss. These are what we lost. We lost 12 people on our watch that night. I know most of these victims. I know them by name. I've, I've, I've sat down with them. I've cried with their parents. It's heartwarming, isn't it? It's really, really. Five years, time enough for the healing to start and to realize there's still a long way to go. We'll never forget our loved ones. We'll never forget the pain. But it became easier to live with and it became easier to channel in the right directions as an entire community. Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Oh, and those white crosses, they will be out there until tomorrow. And the 720 Foundation says they will announce the designs for the permanent memorial at the end of August. Right now on the DenverTunnel.com, we have more on the story you heard a little bit of right there of Jansen Young, whose boyfriend, Jonathan Blanc, was killed in the shooting as he tried to protect her from the bullets.